What's your crunch army? Where you at? Your motivation guy is back. All right, picture this. You're grinding Fortnite, right? You're putting in the hours. You're working to get good at the game, but you still feel like you're either not improving at all or the progress is just really, really slow. And you're starting to lose motivation because of this. Does this sound like you? You know, this happens to a lot of us, man. And that's why in today's video, we're gonna be covering 10 reasons why you suck at Fortnite. These are gonna range from mistakes that you might make in fights to mentality issues and much more. So we've got a lot of stuff to cover, guys. So you better be sure to stick around for the entire video. This is really gonna help you guys a lot. And if you're discouraged in any, you know, aspect of your life, I want you guys to be encouraged that, man, life is a journey, but you know what? You have to take it one day at a time, all right? Alongside of all of this, all right, don't forget to check out ProGuides.com to get you matched up with the pro player who can really help you elevate your game fast. With our new ProVot Analyst Package, along with 24-7 on-demand coaching from pros, you're bound to improve a whole much if you go there, all right? So what are you waiting for? Bunch of Crunch Army, it's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that Bunch of Crunch. Yo, and let's get this going. One of the most common issues almost every single intermediate player has is simply missing shots or generally having inconsistent aim, all right? Good aim, guys, is genuinely such a critical trait in Fortnite, and it is just really annoying to see how players still neglect practicing it. You know, I can't tell you guys strongly enough like how important your aim is, whether you're a complete noob or aspiring to go pro. So taking that 10 or 20 minutes a day to warm up on, on Kovacs or an in-game map will genuinely do wonders for your overall skill. Think of all the times your opponent was one or two shots away from being sent right back to the lobby and you simply choked. Those situations can be minimized or even completely avoided by simply training your aim consistently. So, however you decide to do it, whether it's through Kovacs or an in-game map like Skavooks, aim duels, or whatever else you may use, get that aim training in and just see what it does for your gameplay, right? All right, guys, so the second issue pertaining to, well, sucking at Fortnite <laughs> is having poor keybinds or just general settings. Frankly, I mean, you can practice a ton, right? But if you have poor keybinds or settings, I mean, they're gonna hold you back from your full potential and who wants to go through that? So one easy way to tell if your keybinds or settings are holding you back is to play like normal and just keep your eyes out for any issues that occur in your gameplay, especially relating to your building and editing. If you notice a consistent pattern or mistake and after some trying and it's not been proving much, it's definitely worth just tweaking your keybinds and settings a bit to see if it helps. Bonus points if you can spot what's actually causing the issue, so you can just hone further on it, all right? All right, third up, and one of the biggest ones that really impacts beginner players is taking too many 50-50s. Woo, please don't do this. A 50-50 is defined as pretty much any situation where you go for something that you and your opponent can both easily win. Things like landing on a weapon at the same time as someone else or jumping straight into their box when they're not low are both examples of 50-50s that a newer player might take. The earlier that you can break these 50-50 habits, the better you're gonna end up in the long run since you won't be making stupid plays that get you killed every time. So the best way that you can just break the habit of taking 50-50s, if you feel like you're this type of player, is to just think about it as you play and just really be honest with yourself, right? You can also watch back your gameplay in replay mode to see specific times where you took a dumb 50-50 and really just take note of them, okay? In fact, speaking of that, all right, don't forget that you can always get a pro player to analyze your gameplay at like quite literally the click of a button over on ProGuys.com, as well if you just want to save yourself some time. But overall, breaking the brutal habit of taking 50-50s, bro, like that's going to help you tremendously in your Fortnite journey. And it's going to save you, you know, on a lot of stress as well. Okay, so one other mistake that probably hurts your gameplay more than you actually think is playing through tilt. Tilt occurs any time that you get mad at the game, right? And it continues into later matches, messing up your mood and making your experience less enjoyable. Playing through tilt is one of the worst things that you can do for not only your gameplay itself, but your mental health as well. So in the future, whenever you feel like that tilt is coming in, all right, be honest about it and don't be afraid to take a break. 
Playing through tilt is gonna make you play worse, and especially if you're trying to climb points in arena, even place in a tournament or anything along those lines. It can really stall your progress when this happens to you. So catch it in its early stages and you're gonna be so much more successful. All right, guys, so moving on to our fifth mistake, a lot of you guys are probably making, we've got poor mechanical practice. Obviously, being able to just edit and build you know, super fast and efficiently, along with having good aim and all that great stuff is very important. But a lot of you guys are simply practicing your mechanics the wrong way. All right, like your mechanics won't improve much unless you're targeting your practice to your weak points. So if you suck at retakes, then practice retakes. If your AR aim is terrible, then work on that. You know, if you struggle with someone else, then focus your mechanical practice on that one issue. Another key factor of really good mechanical practice, guys, is really simply just being efficient with your time. Like, don't waste your time doing random free builds that are not really gonna help you, or just 1v1ing someone worse than you because you don't feel like being challenged. <laughs> Be efficient with your time, my friends, and just focus on your weak points when you're practicing your mechanics, and you're gonna see a lot of progress. All right, sixth up on our list of most common issues amongst all players is that, you know, setting unrealistic expectations for yourself. If you're new and, you know, you're new to the whole competitive thing, trying to get into the scene and you never really placed in a tournament before, setting a goal of something like top 100 in your first event is not really unrealistic, but it's kind of just stupid. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. And we see so many players doing this. So the best way to handle this, guys, is to really set small but attainable goals for yourself and just raise them as you see fit in the future, right? So if you're trying to get into competitive and you're playing in cash cups, try making your first goal to place, say, top 5,000. Now, obviously, that's not like an insane placement, but it's still good, especially at a starting point. Then you can just progress from there, right? Like toward top 3,000, top 1,000, top 500, and so on and so on. You get it? So setting realistic goals for yourself will not only help so much with your confidence, but it's going to help you track your progress properly and really set you on the right path towards success in game so another topic that we've discussed in the past but one that fits this video quite perfectly is the players and people you surround yourself with man i talk about this all the time on my motivation show called your motivation show that we're doing every single friday at 12 o'clock pst where we're talking about mentality and one of the things that we always bring up is who are your like who are you hanging around like who are you playing against all that stuff really really helps you a lot if you're og member of the bunch of crunch army you've heard this tip man and you know just how important it is for improving at fortnite so the people that you surround yourself with have a dramatic impact on your improvement and really overall skill in Fortnite and can really make or break you as a player. That's the truth. So what I recommend doing, guys, is making sure that you are surrounding yourself with players who have a positive mentality and they want to improve, man. Like they want to do what you want to do. You guys share the same goals. These are the people that are really, really the ones that you want to be around, especially when you're trying to reach the top level. All right, so moving on to number eight, and we've got non-assertive fighting. All right, as a bit of a background, the word assertive basically means confident and forceful. So assertive fighting means like, you know, being confident, being aggressive, and generally just being on the offensive side during your fights. Being assertive in fights does a lot of things, right? It really helps you obviously play less scared, you know, builds confidence in you and fear in your opponent. And it really puts you in a mechanically advantageous position to win the fight. So whenever you're in game and you're in a fight, try and spot any opportunity to play assertive and really put that pressure on your opponent. For our second to last tip, we've got a pretty common one, and that's simply not putting in the time. Now, <laughs> I always tell you guys that with the efficient practice, man, and like really putting your heart into this thing, you know, and you really, really like go for something with all your heart, you're going to see improvement. And many of us are just trying to improve on only one or two hours a day. But the truth is, like if you wanna reach the top level in Fortnite, you gotta put enough time in. No matter how efficient your practice is, you're probably not gonna be going pro on just an hour per day. And, and that's that's just the truth. It really, really is. So just keep it in mind, man. And just, you know, if you can, put more time in and, and that's really gonna help you guys reach the next top level. 
Finally, the last mistake is simply a lack of in-game practice. I'm gonna tell you guys the number one tip to improve at Fortnite here in a second, but I'm not even joking when I say this might be, possibly, the best thing that you can do to get better at the game. And this tip is to play solo arena. Solo arena is the best possible form of practice, I believe. Pure one-on-one -on -one fights, you know, rotations are involved. Obviously, it's the real map with real actual situations and players are solid as well, so you're getting good practice. But even if it's not a solo arena, any form of in-game practice where you're getting into fights and using some, you know, form of game sense, it's gonna help you guys improve so much faster than just creative. So moving forward, guys, try to shift your practice a bit more towards the real game as opposed to just simply creative and really just see how it goes man obviously creative is still crucial but it should be about a 50 50 split all right guys once again it's your motivation guy that's right your friend the one and only keith allen make sure to connect with me on my insta at your motivation guy with that said, that's going to be it for today's video. So a short recap, we discussed, you know, a bunch of issues holding you back in Fortnite, including poor aim, key binds, taking 50-50s, you know, playing through tilt, practicing your mechanics ineffectively, setting unrealistic expectations for yourself, you know, surrounding yourself with negative people, fighting in a non-assertive way, you know, not putting in enough time, and finally, a simple just lack of just, you know, realistic practice. Alongside that, guys, you know, we discussed how you can improve on each one of these aspects, so hopefully, it's really, really gonna take you to the next level, which I really believe it is, all right? And as usual, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to join the Bunch of Crunch Army and join us on the road to 1 million subscribers, man. We are almost there. Feel free to check out ProGuys.com for some of the best tools to help you guys improve at Fortnite. And Bunch of Crunch Army, keep eating that Bunch of Crunch. And let's get this going.